Welcome back to Ask the Doctor. Today we have Dr. Thais Ruffin, who has a doctorate degree in curriculum and instruction, and today she's going to be answering this very important question for us. Dr. Ruffin, how can parents support and advocate for scholars with special needs during this uncertain time? Yes, during this time of COVID-19 and certainly our racism pandemic, parents should communicate with teachers and related service providers. And when I say communicate, um, make sure that they understand um, the needs that you have as a parent, especially if you're engaged in remote learning, that you may have needs that need support, where they may need to guide you through certain mechanisms, certain processes, certain practices, refer you to certain resources to support your kid doing remote learning. And so this constant communication to support you and the child are both crucial. When we look at exceptional children in special education, again, it's not just about supporting the needs of the kid. It's about that parent-school partnership where both needs are being met in order to do the work. Some of the resources that I like um, for if parents ever question where I'm in constant communication with the school, the EC teacher and the related service providers like the speech language pathologist, the occupational therapist, I'm in constant communication with them, but yet I still have some support that's necessary. I love the Exceptional Children Assistance Center. It is a parent information center. It has parent advocates there. It does parent education training. So it's really there to support the parent throughout the process of special education and meeting a kid's need. I also love the uh, Family Support Network of Western North Carolina. I've engaged with them for about seven to eight years now with my own students at UNC Asheville and the Family Support Network of Western North Carolina is a parent to parent program. They have a lending library, they have parent education, they also have outreach folks that are available to assist parents. Um, one web resource that I love is called Understood for All. It also is a resource to guide parents as we try to navigate this. You know, this may be, you know, all new to us. We're used to having our kids physically in school with in-person instruction. Now we have COVID-19 along with the racism pandemic and we're working with our kids um, that are differently able that we need to have our needs met as parents and also um, have our kids needs met. And again, that's through constant communication and tapping in to additional resources that are out there. 